Hi and welcome to livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com. This is Robert Estrin, your online piano store, Living Pianos, with a great question as to why would anybody need a high-end or expensive piano? You might think, is, is it frivolous to spend sixty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars for a piano when you can get a perfectly fine Asian-made piano for a fraction of the cost? What are the reasons that people spend this kind of money? Is it just status? Well, there's a lot that goes into it. Yes, some of it is status. Having a name like Steinway in your piano sets you apart when people walk into your home, much like having a certain logo on a handbag can be very impressive to people. Uh, fortunately, this is not the primary benefit of owning a high-end piano. There's much more to it. Along the same lines, however, to the status is also the resale. If you do have a piano that's noted for being a high quality manufacturer, in the long haul, it's going to have more value. Think of it. If you buy a brand new piano for under $10,000, little baby grand, if when it wears out, you would never rebuild such a piano because rebuilding costs more than the piano. So it's almost like a disposable piano. So for folks who want a piano in their family to pass down, generation to generation, getting a higher end piano is reason enough for this. Now, what about the way they play, the way they sound? For a lot of players, a lower end piano is gonna be just fine for the purposes. You have young kids, you wanna start them out with piano, you're not even sure if they're gonna stay with it. You want some nice furniture in your home. Maybe if you want a, a wireless player system in the piano, the kind of things we install all the time. And you know, a good Asian quality piano will last you years with proper maintenance. But what about the really serious player? I will tell you that years ago, uh, I was in a position where I, my personal piano was a brand new top tier Asian, not top tier piano, but one of the top Asian brands which I'll remain nameless. I, I know, don't begrudge them anything, but my experiences with this piano, with the way I practice, that piano needed major regulation about every six months, not just a little touch up. It could not withstand the kind of use that I put into a piano. We even had to rebuild the whole pedal lyre more than once, it kept breaking apart. It couldn't take the kind of intensive use that a concert pianist is going to impart on a piano. More than that, the vast majority of Asian production pianos don't have the range of expression. You see, any high quality pianist knows how to instantly adjust to whatever instrument is in front of them. So if I'm playing a concert on a, on a concert grand, Busendorfer or Steinway or Mason and Hamlin, I can let myself go tremendously, put, putting as much energy as I want into the instrument. But with lesser pianos, it's riding a line between how far you can go, not introducing distortion to the tone, much like turning up a cheap stereo too much gets unpleasant to the ears. So it is with cheap pianos. A really, you know, if you've got a really low-end uh, Indonesian piano, for example, you might find that when you really put energy, it gets a little brittle and distorted. You can still make it sound good, and you know, the fact of the matter is beginning students won't have the energy to reach that limit anyway. So it probably isn't an issue for quite some time for most students. The flip side is how quietly can you play? Can you play whisper quiet and still maintain a singing line that will project? Just imagine you're playing a piece that maybe has three or even four lines, almost like uh, different strata of, of, of sound where you have the quietest, a little bit louder, louder still and the loudest, and you have these lines that you're trying to mold to create the sound that you could follow each line independently, yet vertically they have balance, one louder than the next. This is of course a very difficult thing to achieve in the piano and only high level players approach this. But if you don't have a piano that is top notch and more than that is impeccably voiced and uh, regulated, it's impossible to have that kind of control. So the long and short of it is a higher line piano in good condition is going to give you a wider range of expression and control and will have more lasting value over the long haul, will require less maintenance for a serious player, and you can enjoy it 
and even have some status to boot. So those are all different benefits. If any of you have other observations or ideas as to what other reasons one would, would spend more money on a piano than absolutely necessary, love to hear from you. Again, Robert at livingpianos.com, here also on virtualsheetmusic.com. Thanks so much for joining me.